Investigators just now learning how much planning went into this attack. They say that Seifulo Saipov had rented this truck before, that he had come here, scouted out this location. He had practiced making turns in this truck, and he had knives in that truck that he was unable to reach after the crash. And most disturbing of all, he may have been boasting while eight families were in mourning. This morning, disturbing new details about Seifulo Saipov. The suspected terrorist appearing in court, handcuffed and shackled in a wheelchair. The 29-year-old now facing multiple charges, including support for terrorism. Saipov committed this attack in support of ISIS. According to a criminal complaint, Saipov told the FBI his goal was to run over people along New York City's busy West Side Highway, then head over to the Brooklyn Bridge to find more victims. Choosing Halloween specifically in an effort to kill as many people as he could, telling investigators he felt good about what he had done. Oh! This new video shows what happened after he rammed the truck into a school bus, trapping special needs children inside. Saipov allegedly admitted that he was inspired to commit the attack by the ISIS videos he watched and had been planning this attack for two months. Investigators say his two cell phones were filled with violent ISIS propaganda videos, including beheadings, and that he allegedly wanted to drape ISIS flags at the front and back of the truck during the attack, but according to the FBI, decided against it because he didn't want to draw attention to himself. The complaint also says he even requested to display an ISIS flag in his hospital room. I just want to thank my family and friends. NYPD officer Ryan Nash, who ended the attack by shooting Saipov, speaking for the first time. Although I feel that we were just doing our job, like thousands of officers do every day, I understand the importance of yesterday's events and the role we played, and I'm grateful for the recognition. Throughout New York City overnight, tributes poured in for the victims. Now, we're also learning more about the eight people who lost their lives, including two Americans, 23-year-old Nicholas Cleves and 32-year-old Darren Drake. Speaking with WNBC, Drake's father, devastated. He had everything, everything. Also killed in Tuesday's tragedy, five friends visiting from Argentina who traveled to New York to celebrate their 30th high school reunion. This video shows the men riding bikes along the path just minutes before the attack. An Anne Lord de Cat, a 31 year old Belgian mother of two, struck down during a visit to New York with her mother and sisters. Her husband telling a Belgian newspaper the loss is unbearable. And last night, the FBI was looking for a man from Uzbekistan, they say, was a known associate of Saipov. They have found him, they are interviewing him, but they are still asking the public for any information that they may have. Matt and Savannah, back to you. All right, Gotti, thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.